Okay, we're going to look at question four here. Question four of the 2021 November national exam. And here it is. It's a linear pattern. Wow, it's five, seven, nine. That means it's arithmetic. It's just going up by two. They want you to calculate. Uh, oh, determine the 51th term. Well, all you have to do is go Tn equals A plus N minus 1 times D. You're given that formula. So the 51st term, T51, is A, which is 5, the first term, plus 51 N minus 1, 51 minus 1, times the common difference. Well, 50 times 2 is 100, plus 5, the, 5th, 25th, the, the 51st term must be 105. Okay, calculate the sum of the first 51 terms. Okay, so there's your formula for an arithmetic sum. This is an arithmetic sequence going up by 2. So we put 51 in for n, 2 times a, 2 times 5, 51 minus 1 times d. Just put that in your calculator. That's 50 times 2. That's 100. 110 divided by 2 is going to be 55 times 51. It's 2,805. Well, that's all there is to it. Let's try the next question. The next question says, okay, write down the expansion of the sum of 2n plus 3. And by the way, 2n plus 3, if we put in 1, we get 5. If we put in 2, we get 7. That is our linear pattern. But if this summation means we start at 1 and we keep on going and we don't stop until we put the number 5,000 in. So we'd put in 1. So we'd go 2 times 1 plus 3, that'll give us 5. 2 times 2 plus 3 would give us 7. 2 times 3 plus 3, 2 times 4 plus 3. And we'd keep on going, and the last number we put in is 2 times 5,000 plus 3. So if you were going to just expand it, you'd write 5 plus 9 plus 9, and on and on and on, and then write the last term. That's what it looks like, just like that. Okay, the next question is, they say, calculate or otherwise try and figure out what this thing is going to be. What is that going to be? Well, if we've got that expansion, here we want to start at 1 and just end up with 499 uh, plus minus 2n minus 1. Let's take a look at what we've got here. Well, the first term, t1, if we put in 1 in here, is minus 3. Let's look at this. So t, the very last term, if we put in 4,999, we just put it in the formula. We go, we put it in, and we get this number, minus 9999. That's the last term. Okay, well, let's take a look at this here. Well, we've got this term, um, the two things putting together. We have 5 plus 9 plus 9 like that all the way up. And then we get this other thing here, and then we get something else, and then we're looking at this and trying to, okay, there's the first one, 5 plus 9, all the way up until 1,001, and then 10,003. There's the first one, looking at it all. Here's the next one, minus 3, minus 5, minus 7, minus 9. Hey, wouldn't these 7s and these 7 and minus 7, 9 and minus 9, all of these, they would cancel each other. And the only ones that would survive would be the 5 uh, and, the, and, and, the, and the 9. Oh, no, just the 5 would survive. And because the 7 minus 7, wouldn't it? So the 5, oh, no, the 5 wouldn't. 5 minus 5, 7. There would just be a minus 3 there. So I'm looking at what all gets canceled here. These numbers are going to cancel all of these, all the way up to 999 and starting at 5. The only one that's going to survive is the five, is the minus 3. Well, that's pretty interesting. And the 10,001 and the 10,003, those are the only three that are going to survive. So it's 20,004 minus 3. It must be 20,001. So what we did is we kind of expanded that thing, took a look at it. We expanded the one on the bottom, minus 3. And we know it's going down by two, so we wrote it down. And then we took a look and went, holy cow, so many things are going to cancel if we add these together. I see that five's going to go with that minus five. You see all this stuff? 
that seven's going to cancel that minus seven. That nine's going to cancel. That minus nine. And the last one that's going to cancel, everything's going to cancel. The only thing that survive are these one, two, three numbers. Just put them together, and there's your answer. And there you go. And that's it.